Here's the wild ending of the day. As if you weren't satisfied by Ohio State and Michigan State, it's Northwestern at Wisconsin, Joel Stavi's final home game, but he would struggle. Here's Justin Jackson for the Wildcats, finding the hole and finding the end zone. That's their first score of the game, 7-0. Third quarter now. It's a second and goal from the nine. The Badgers are down 10-0. Stavi hands to Corey Clement who shifts his way to find the first points of the game for Wisconsin. They're now down 10 to seven. Under six minutes to play in the third. Alex Erickson, this is a huge play. He gets it, breaks one tackle, two tackles, three tackles, and he's gone. A 78 yard return to the house. This gives them the lead, except it doesn't. The officials rule that what he did was an invalid signal call. Look at him waving off his players here. They said that's invalid because any waving motion by the receiving team doesn't count. So that means they get the ball back. Well, Wisconsin would have to climb uphill and it didn't get any better when Stavi threw an interception not much longer to Anthony Walker. Fourth quarter, six point game, 40 seconds left. Joel Stavi and company are driving. They're at the 23 yard line. This could win the game. Troy Fumagalli, touchdown, it's over, except it's not. Knee down at the one, so the Badgers didn't win. Next play, Stavi rolls, find Jazz Peavy. Touchdown, it's over, except it's not. They say he didn't maintain control throughout the catch. He bobbles the ball, so that means second and goal. Stavi cannot get sacked. Throw it away, you just can't go down. And Deontay Gibson sacks him. Well, watch what happens. Stavi gets hurt, so they have to spike the ball. On fourth down, it's a backup QB. Incomplete pass. Ball game, Pat Fitzgerald squatting with joy as they hold on to win 13 to seven in a battle of two teams that came in eight and two. Justin Jackson continued to be Justin Jackson with 139 yards and 35 carries in this one. But Northwestern wins and is now sitting at nine and two. Lisa Byington afterwards. Well, describe what you saw in that final sequence from your defense. You know, you talk about make them take another snap. Incredibly proud of our guys. We had so many that had to step up today. And, you know, it wasn't pretty all the time, but we got the job done. And just incredibly proud, of, especially for our seniors. And I don't know who just won. What just happened? <laughs> what did it take to win a football game like this? Just keep fighting. Just keep fighting. Just keep battling. It's hard to win on a road in a Big Ten. It's hard to win football games, period, and uh, just so incredibly proud of our young men's resilience. Couldn't be more proud of them here on Thanksgiving week. Uh, incredibly thankful for them and their families. How did your defense make it so tough on Wisconsin's offense? Well, tonight? fundamentally pretty sound, and then we gave up some plays, you know, that we shouldn't give up at the end of the game, which is disappointing, but we got to stop when we needed it. One of the difference was Alex Erickson took one back and then it was called back. What were you told on that play by the uh, officials? He waved, he waved hot, and once he does that, the play's done, and I was going to challenge it, uh, but they called the right call. So, 